What's up guys, Takedown here, back with another video. Today is a, it can be a touchy subject, um, and the reason I say that is if it affects you, it's going to be a touchy subject, and it's it's me sharing something uh, that is affecting me recently, currently, um, in my life. And if you've seen the thumbnail, if you've seen the title, it is Canada's minimum wage increase. Um, so let me just talk about that. So I'll start this video off about, I've been uh, full time for about two years now, that's 44 hours a week. Um, after high school, it took, I don't know, almost a year for them to give me full time, but that's because there was other people in the job and they didn't need another full time person. I got full time, I was there full time for two years. Um, I made minimum wage and then they bumped me up from 15 cents, like that's a big difference, but I mean, a little bit more than minimum wage, so I guess it adds up in time. But I was like that for two years. Then we got a new uh, owner of the store, a new boss. He brought more people with him um, if I, I, I think I forgot to mention, I work at Canadian Tire, so it's retail. I work in the automotive. I transitioned into service, so I do parts and service in the automotive ends. And it's 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 an okay job. I do like what I do. I do believe I'm good at it, and a lot of people would back me up on that statement. But when they came, he also brought a service manager or somebody who's making the service manager, and they've only been with Canadian Tire two years at this point currently I am at almost reaching my five years with the company so I mean he's only been there for two years and he's a service manager which I, I understand that's that's none of my business but six months after they came my hours dropped down to 30 hours a week so there's 14 hours I'm not getting and I was not pissed but I was okay with that it. it gave me more time for my channel gave me more time for myself and gave me more time for my family but I still took a little hit with financially, which of course you're making a little bit less. I think actually it was close to 35 hours and then it eventually went down to the 30 hours. So then we knew minimum wage was going up January 1st, boss knew too, going up to $14 when it was 11.50. So that's, I know a lot of people that aren't Canadian are like, well, our minimum wage is lower, but whenever you make a huge jump like that, it does trickle down and affect everyone in my opinion. Um, November and December, if you've ever, if you've worked retail or if you go shopping for Christmas, you know, November and December are big stores, um, most busiest times of the year. Nothing else beats it out. After January, it's dead, picks up again in the spring for the spring sales, but nothing beats out the Christmas rush, if you will. Um, and that's usually our busiest time of the year. And it was it's still the busiest time of the year. As compared to every other year, this year was slower, but still we were running our butts off. We were exhausted. And instead of me getting my full-time hours or sticking to the 30 hours I was getting, I got cut again. So I was anywhere from one week, 25 to 30 hours, the next week, 20 to 25 hours. And put that in your mind, you know, it's getting close to Christmas, you got stuff you got to pay for, you got gifts to get, you got a whole bunch of stuff for yourself. That's what, around the time I got my phone, so now I have phone bills, I have other bills to pay, I got things I need money to pay, and your hours get cut. So that really affected me. And then the other th reason it affected me is because we in retail don't usually see uh, cut hours or layoffs until January. That's whenever it's our dead season uh, over here in Canada. So we usually don't see an effect until then. And to have it start in November was really alarming to us. And we knew minimum wage was going up, and that was part of the reason. Um, but but none of the that, none of the less, we were affected by it. Almost everybody. And it wasn't just me that was getting hours cut. And it wasn't just my department being automotive, being the smallest department. You know, sports department, hardware, the cash is. They were all getting cut, and it did affect everybody uh, the same, some more than others, but everybody got affected one way and another. Whether it's you still have your hours, but now you have no help while you're at work, or you're just getting no hours, it does affect everybody. So come January, my hours got cut once again. Now, 
it's at fourteen dollars an hour, but my hours got cut down to um, twenty hours a week, twenty to twenty-five hours a week on average. That's me. That's really, really alarming, and it's it's almost wasn't worth it. But I stuck to it. I thought, okay, this time of the year I get it. It will hopefully pick up. But ever since then, it started to go down even more. Now, currently, I'm getting 20 hours one week and only 13 hours in the next week. And it's not hours that it's like I'm needed to be there. It's just, here's a couple hours for this day, here's a couple hours for this day, just to shut me up, just to say they gave me some hours where I'm not needed. I do understand that in a way. But the whole reason I'm making this video is because I want to find out, and I, I want to basically tell people how it's affecting me, because now I'm making less money because my hours being cut. I'm making less money now that minimum wage is up than I was making before minimum wage went up because they did a huge jump right away and all these places had to affect and cut uh, hours and cut their cut jobs and all this stuff. So I'm making less money than I did before minimum wage went up. So who did it really benefit? That's what I'm kind of making this video about. I don't believe it's affecting everybody financially. But if it's affecting me, and I am in a small town, but still, um, I don't see a point in this. I don't see why they would increase it. I do see in the long run, but for example, milk. If now these stores have to pay their employees more, the milk prices that they have to pay goes up because the milk companies now have to pay their employees more. So it's just going to trickle down to us where eventually we're going to have to, and I've already seen increases in food and that, we're going to have to pay more for simple stuff like milk, bread, and it's it's going to affect everything. But simple stuff like that, we're going to have to pay more because we're earning more. And now all these businesses have to pay their employees more, so now we have to pay more. And it's, it's just mind-bothering, and it kind of pisses you off. Uh, if, if you are Canadian, if now, if you're American, you're watching this, you might not see the effect because I don't know if your minimum wage has went up or is going up, but for us, for it to go from 1150 up to 14 hours or $14 an hour, personally, I've been affected a lot and it sucks. I would be looking for another job and I actually plan on be doing that soon because I know a couple places hiring now and I just heard about them. Um... And you'll be making more than minimum wage there. So I plan on doing that. But uh, I don't see the point of them doing it when it's it's affecting. And if it's affecting me, I'm assuming it's affecting a ton more people across the country. Just think of people that were just getting by now. Now all of a sudden the minimum wage goes up in their head. They think, oh, that's going to be a good thing. But whenever their hours start getting cut because there's less work and it is a slow time of the year. I don't know if in the spring my hours are going up because the job place... They're tweaking employees where people are positions. So I'm once again back on the bottom of the totem pole. But that's not what this video is about. It's the minimum wage increase. So my opinion, it is a bad thing. I do not agree with it. I mean, I'm 21. I got bills to pay. I Luckily, I saved up a lot over the past few years. But I don't want to use my life savings so far just to live. Um, I do get living paycheck to paycheck, I do understand that, but when now I'm making less, that minimum wage has increased. I'm making less than I made before when it was only eleven fifty. To me, there's a problem with that. And now if prices of stuff start going up, now it's going to be more of a challenge for me because I'm making less than I was. So I just don't get it. I don't see the points, but that is the liberals for us. So if you're a Canadian, if it is affecting you, let me know down below. Leave a comment, leave something, um, let me know if it's affecting you, how it's affecting you financially, physically, mentally, because um, it is it is exhausting all across the board, mentally, physically, and financially, you will start, you start to worry, you start to stress yourself out uh, when stuff like this happens, but let me know, and also let me know if it's not affecting you, maybe you have a really good job, who knows, um, but, but let me know, I plan on going to college, hopefully in the future, for what? I'm still deciding. I'm trying to pinpoint exactly what I want to do. I want to do something video related. That's why I made my channel. That's why I'm continuing continuing with my channel. Stuttered there. 
But I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a thumbs up if you did like it. You can leave a thumbs down. That's okay too. Any feedback is appreciated. And uh, hope you guys take care. See you guys in the next one. Peace.